Hello, boys and girls. It is Miss Mulkern again. Um, so we are going to be adding to our figurative language um, to go along with poetry. So I want to add in, so I'm in my reading journal. Um, in my anchor chart section, before we have talked about idiom, simile, and onomatopoeia, I want to make sure, I know I have mentioned in class, and I'm sure your other teachers have as well, uh, personification and hyperbole. You're going to watch two videos about um, the difference in those and that will help. But let's start. We're going to add in two to our journal. So if you, do not, if you do not have this chart, make this chart in your journal. Take it in some notes somewhere. That way you have it. So I'm in my reading journal anchor chart section. So first I want to talk about hyperbole. So this is hyperbole. Make sure you write this down or save it somewhere to where you can access it. Hyperbole is an exaggeration to emphasize the object. So this is where you exaggerate to the extreme. For example, the ice cream cone was a mile high. Well, is the ice cream cone really going to be a mile high? That's not even possible. But you want to exaggerate because you want them to know your ice cream cone is so tall. It's so big. It's massive. So the meaning of this hyperbole, the ice cream cone was a mile high, is how tall the cone is. That's what the author would want you to know. So an exaggeration makes your writing um, more fun to read. It also um, helps you kind of add in more exaggeration to your speech, to your reading, to your writing, um, makes it interesting. So that's hyperbole. An exaggeration, very extreme, ice cream cone was a mile high. Or the bag weighed a ton, which means it would be way too heavy. So we're also going to add in today personification. Personification gives human character traits to non-human object. I'm going to put an S here. Give human, no, we leave it without an S. Give human character traits to non-human objects. So what I mean by that, for example, the city never sleeps. Can a city really sleep? Can they take a nap? No, it's not human. So if you say the city never sleeps, they can't do this human characteristic. What you're meaning is the city is busy. So personification gives an object that's not a human gives that object character traits. So for example, the flowers danced in the wind. Can flowers dance? No, but if you were to read that, you would know that they were moving probably by the wind. So just to kind of reiterate what we talked about, hyperbole is an exaggeration to emphasize the object. A personification gives a human character traits to a non-human object. Um, you will watch two videos today about hyperbole and personification, and then you'll have an activity with those. So make sure you get your notes written down so you have these.